Hello everyone, in this video today we are going to tell the story. Richard George Rogers, born July 23, 1933, is a British architect known for his modernist and functionalist designs. He was born in Florence in 1933 and studied at the Architectural Association School of Architecture in London, before graduating from the Yale School of Architecture in 1962. Richard Rogers' work spread to most countries of the world, especially France, Italy, and Britain. When Rogers was at Yale University, he met his colleague Norman Foster, and my father returned with him to the city of London and they established a company they called Team 4, which included four people as a team, Richard Rogers and his wife Sue Rogers, and Foster his wife Wendy Cheeseman, and that was in 1963. Architect Richard Rogers completed his first work with Foster on the Creek Veen House in Cornwall, southern England. Rogers separated from Foster in 1967, and began a new one-year partnership with architect John Young. They built a home and studio for Humphrey Spender near Malden, Essex, which was a fully glazed, framed, cube-shaped building. Rogers' designs gained worldwide fame in a short period of time, as they were technical industrial designs. On July 13, 1971, he was able to compete for the design of the Pompeo Center with Renzo Piano and Peter Rise. This building was the basis for the character of most of Rogers' works. Where he used to display most of the building's services, such as stairs, water, and even heating channels, and he did not hide them from the outside, and he used to leave the interior parts tidy. This building is also considered one of the most popular landmarks in Paris, although a number of critics have confused the interior and exterior style with the visceral style. After that, Rogers did a variety of works, so his designs were wider and reflected the aspects of modern urbanization on cities, as he was keen to take into account the conditions of sustainability. His most notable works were the Lloyd Building in London in 1984 and Peter Noster Square in London in 1987. As the 1980s ended, he designed Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport, but it did not appear until 2008. In 1986 he participated in the exhibition of the Royal Academy held in London, where he designed sophisticated and modern models he also made proposals to transform large swaths of central London, but these were later rejected by the FBA. Authorities in the city British architect Richard Rogers, engineer and designer of the Georges Pompidou Centre in Paris and the Millennium Dome in London, died on Saturday evening at the age of 88. One of the top ten designs by British architect Richard Rogers, One Hyde Park, is a major residential and retail complex located in Knightsbridge, London. The development includes three retail units, Rolex, McLaren Automotive and Abu Dhabi Islamic. Bank and 86 residential properties marketed with prices starting at around 20 million pounds. 2. The Palace of Justice, Antwerp, Dutch, Justitia Polis Antwerpen, commonly known as the Antwerp Law Courts de Fretziken, and the Butterfly Palace, Dutch, Vlinderpalis, is a law court building located in the Belgium city of Antwerp on the site of the old Antwerp South Railway Station. The building was built over the Bolivar Tunnel and it houses eight district civil and criminal courts. It was inaugurated on March 28, 2006 by King Albert, Minister of Justice Laurette Uncle Enks, Minister of Finance DDA Reinders, Governor Camille Paulus and Mayor Patrick Janssens. The building was designed by the Richard Rogers Partnership, VK Studio and Arup. 3. The Torre BBVA Mexico. BBVA Mexico Tower, formerly Torre BBVA Bancomer, is a skyscraper on Paseo de la Reforma in Colonia Juarez, Mexico City. It is the headquarters of BBVA Mexico, Mexico's largest bank. Upon its completion in 2015 it became the second tallest building in Mexico City at 235 meters, 771 feet, and 50 stories high. However by 2018 it is expected to be the fourth tallest in Mexico, after Torre Coy, Torre Reforma and Punta Chapultepec. 4. The Torres Atrio. English, Atrium Towers, is an architectural complex under construction in Bogota. When complete, the South Tower will be the tallest building in Colombia at approximately 879 feet, 268 meters, in height. The complex is located at the intersection of Caracas Avenue and El Dorado Avenue. The complex will include two towers, the North Tower with 44 floors and the South Tower with 67. 
The Torres Atrio are being built on the former Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada Convention Center and an adjacent parking lot. 5. The O2 Arena, commonly known as the O2, is a multi-purpose indoor arena in the center of the O2 Entertainment Complex on the Greenwich Peninsula in southeast London. It opened in its present form in 2007. It has the second highest seating capacity of any indoor venue in the United Kingdom, behind the Manchester Arena, and in 2008 was the world's busiest music arena. As of 2022, it is the ninth largest building in the world by volume. Sixth, the building of the European Court of Human Rights is located in the European Quarter of Strasbourg, France. It was designed by the Richard Rogers Partnership and Claude Butch and was completed in 1994. 7. The Clean This Vikletis Stadium, or Cherilau Ground is a football stadium in Thessaloniki, Greece. It was built in 1951 as the home stadium of RSFC, Thessaloniki, one of the most popular football clubs in Greece. For many years, the ground, after the district in which it was built, the stadium's capacity was 23,200 although it got limited to 22,800 after the renovations for the 2004 Summer Olympics, where it served as a training ground for football at the 2004 Summer Olympics. 8. The Zip-Up House. Formerly Zip-Up Enclosures No. 1 and 2, was designed between 1967 and 1969 by Richard Rogers and his then-wife, Sue Rogers, née Brumwell, for the House of Today competition, which was sponsored by DuPont. The house was never built. Although the concept was later used for Richard Rogers' parents, Dr. Nino and Dada Rogers' house at 22 Parkside in Wimbledon, London. 9. Heathrow Terminal 5 is an airport terminal at Heathrow Airport, the main airport serving London. Opened in 2008, the main building in the complex is the largest freestanding structure in the United Kingdom. Terminal 5 is currently used exclusively by British Airways and was exclusively used as one of the three global hubs of IAG. Served by British Airways in Iberia until 12 July 2022 when Iberia moved all flights to Terminal 3. Prior to 2012, the terminal was used solely by British Airways. 10. The House Creek Veen was conducted between 1963 and 1966 by Richard Rogers. Norman Foster and their respective wives Sue and Wendy, grouped under the name of Team 4, for the father of Sue, Marcus Brumwell which was a retired chief of an advertising agency and lover art and navigation in Cornwall. Hello everyone, in this video today we are going to tell the story Richard George Rogers, born July 23, 1933, is a British